If you're a fan of Red Dwarf, you might see what I'm doing here. We've got one toaster, we've got one circuit. Now, what I'm using is an Arduino Pro Mini. Uh, it's running at 5 volts, it will be. And on the right there is an SD card reader. So basically the idea being that it will uh, play the sounds of Talkie the Toaster from Red Dwarf through a speaker that will be mounted on the side. Right, next to a bit of salvage, I uh, found a couple of previously used uh, Arduino Pro Minis. This one here had the SD card um, on the end of it. I've got two of them, one's on the other protoboard for the code development. Uh, but it didn't work very well, there's something wrong and up here, huh, at some point, uh, at least that diode is blown. Anyway, I desoldered and I put it onto this other one. And I've also got this 3W uh, amplifier here which is now going to go onto this board. Okay, I've decided to go ahead with the PIR sensor. Now, they do work fine without the golf ball on the top. And looking at the picture of the original Red Dwarf one from Series 1, which I'll show a picture of next after this bit, um, they have quite a large wooden piece on the end on the plunger thing. So I'm going to put this there. Well, in the interest of safety, because I realise that the sides of this get really, really hot uh, when it's toasting, I've decided to remove the mains wiring and instead I'll replace with the uh, the wire out to the power supply for 5 volts. Uh, just safety, like I say. But it does have a line that says, if you didn't want toast, why did you repair me? So, uh, that could be kind of fun. Anyway, just for safety's sakes, I'm removing this at the moment, the original wire. And it also allowed me to clean up the underneath, which was actually quite dirtied up. So I'll put the wire through now, tidy knot there so they won't get pulled through, and onward. There we are, that's the boxy wooden piece on the end that I've made out of the foam, uh, Dollar Tree foam, and I've used Old English to give it the wood effect. And uh, from a distance, you know, about 10 metres away. <coughs> It looks like wood. That's not too bad at all. And of course I've got the uh, sensor poking out the end. Here's the speaker going on. Uh, I've used Pixel glue and <laughs> hopefully it'll stick. I mean of course it's shiny, uh, shiny metallic surface but never mind. And uh, next thing I'm going to do after leaving that to dry for a bit is to uh, put all the rest of the circuitry underneath here and attach it all up. Right, so got things pretty much glued up on the bottom here. Um, just got the three wires from the PAR sensor to go. And now the thing being that the connection here to the SD card reader makes it just a touch higher than the base part of the toaster. So I've been outside to an old PC tower and taken the feet off the bottom of that, rubberized feet, and I'm going to fit those on the corners. Well, I'm not 100% sure how I will do this, but I'm working on the front part now um, with the grill area and uh, I've changed my idea of what to use for the main ring um, to a sour cream pot, cut that out, and then I've got a gallon water bottle top on the top there. And now I need the uh, material that the LED can shine through. Now this is part of an old screen from a laptop and this stuff you can see through it so I'm thinking of using this cutting this out um, to form the sort of screen area that an LED or a couple of LEDs can shine through I'm not sure yet and these are a couple of pieces from window blinds plastic ones that I've cut and then I'm going to cut into little strips to do the connections to the middle that's the idea And here he is, Talkie Toaster, all finished up. Uh, I'm very pleased with the grill on the front there, and also this uh, wooden piece on the side with the PIR sensor on it. But I suppose, importantly, is what he sounds like, and uh, we'll have a listen, I'll plug him in.
Cookies, the name, toastings, the game. Anyone like any toast? Eh, uh, look, no. Don't want any toast. No one wants any toast. In fact, no one around here wants any toast. Not now. Not ever. No toast. <laughs> and we can carry on the interactions at any point if I just uh, wave in front of that PIR sensor. Go on, say stuff. How about a muffin? Uh, no, no muffins. We don't like muffins round here. We want no muffins, no toast, no tea cakes, no buns, baps, baguettes or bagels. No croissants, no crumpets, no pancakes, no potato cakes, no hot cross buns, and definitely no smegging flapjacks. Ah, so you're a waffle man. <laughs> See what he's like. He winds me up. Uh, there's no reasoning with him. What do we do, eh? What do we do? Can I ask just one question? Um, okay. What is it? Didn't you just hear what I said? I thought you might have changed your mind in the meantime. No, no, didn't change your mind. Um, see what he's like. I toast, therefore I am. No toast. No toast, thank you very much. If you don't want any toast, why didn't you repair me? Hmm? So I could make this YouTube video. Haha. Uh -huh. Now the other thing is, um, if I wave in front of the PIR sensor again at this point afterwards, he'll just ask if people want toast. So that could be quite annoying in the kitchen. Anyone like any toast? <laughs> Alright, in the words of Robert Llewellyn, if you have been, thank you for watching.